Skyrim Fusion with my summer car in Finland. So, <laughs> let's uh, let's try some my summer car today. Uh, last name, let's do. And first name, do Fox. Oh, I have a lot of uh, Red Pool, Red Pool, Red Bull. It's coming up on me. So uh, let's begin. So this is going to be fun with my summer car. I've been playing this for a while now. And on my Twitch channel, I played it hours and hours. It had, I have learned a lot, ins and outs in this. So I kind of want to uh, make a YouTube series out of my summer card this time. So here goes my summer card for Let's Play. What? Whoa. Came in the game, heard the car crunch. <laughs> Welcome to Finland! Yay, Finland! Look, there's to Mr. Fox. Merry Christmas. Let's open it. Ooh, we got a bottle of booze. I'm gonna save it. Random gift money. That's nice. Really gives us 648. Got some Christmas. This is new. Body. Huh. That's pretty cool. You can put Christmas lights inside the car. I'm gonna leave them. I wonder how much longer Christmas is over. So let's open these doors. Turn on the slide. Gee, that's, that's got one sausage and some beer. Let's turn on all the lights. You now with the new that one new save, all lights will you know stay on for. Okay, so usually when you restart the game, or when you start a new game, going to the store is the number one uh, priority. So, <laughs> what, I, what I usually do, what I enjoy doing, is always getting the feel this. I know it's like wasting money at the start, but it'd be good getting the air slash feel ratio. So we can uh, do that a hell of a lot easier. So we're gonna do we're gonna start mailing this off, and we're we're gonna go to the store, get some food, some water, beer. That's Finland, and start building on our car with the uh, this thing. I always hate waiting for the. Uh, plugs to warm up. It's just so much time wasted. Or oh, forget that. Great. I don't know. I, I don't like to drive with auto clutch. I mean, a lot of people, it's, it's fine, but auto clutch doesn't seem as fun. As like driving with a normal clutch. Yeah, I'm just driving over here grabbing the diesel. <laughs> I'm too lazy to walk over and uh, grab it myself. Yeah, it's a little faster too. Let's shut the door. Huh. You know, it'd be fun. Just it'd be a lot of fun if. Like, I don't, I have a steering wheel for this, but it doesn't really work as, as it should. Uh, every time I try to, try to fix it, it always crashes on me, but it would be amazing to try this game with an H shifter. It'd probably work out a lot better in rally versus, like, button up gear, down gear. Um, the people I, I watch Grace still plays. Pretty good YouTuber, go you know, you can go and check him out. And uh he, I seen him do the rally race and he did a did a hard time. Like it took him a little while to get it down. He he did it in eight minutes. 
I, I probably would do it in like a 10. He surpasses me, at least driving on these roads. I used to always take the, the, sh the other road. You know, you see me turn left, you know, town's right. But uh, every time he, it's probably easier to turn left and take the main road. In my opinion, I mean, same thing with Gray thought. It's just like a death, uh, that dirt road is just death down there. I, I can't stay on the road. You'd just be driving straight and all of a sudden, bloop, they're all, throws you off the freaking road. And it just annoys the crap out of me. I've died so many times on that road. It's ridiculous. I hate, you know, just, I don't like, it is a strong word, but I don't like that road. I could take this road, and I could turn left and go to Timo's shop. I could take all those roads that way. Going right at the split, I, I just can't do. Always die down that, that road. Either bounce off the road and die, or just like, I feel like a glitch happens to me, and... I just abruptly die. So, I always take that road. That's why I always take this way now. <laughs> Here's that yellow new car, like everyone's trying to have fun with. We're gonna be here for a little while. I'm gonna pump some. But before then, Stop moving. Oh, there he goes. Oh, bye, yellow car. Have some fun drifting around the corner. Is he driving better? Oh hell no. Look at that driving skill. Like, as bad as me. I'm not that bad. Oh yeah. That reminds me, um, I just came in here and bought the fan belt. And I was watching one of my friends play this. I was trying to give him advice, you know, how to do everything. And he went to the store, I was like, well you need to buy the fan, the fan belt. And I was like, it's on top of the shelf above the brake fluid. He's like, okay. He looks up there and no fan belt. I'm like, it's over there. He's like, no, it's not. And, you know, I was watching it stream and stuff. Well, just a few now, since I just bought the fan belt, the fan belt is actually on the wall now. It's right in this area. So if you start new or you're a new player and you're just watching this, the fan belt is right here. Might move again by the time, you know, later updates. But it's it was right here when I just bought it. Look at this. I mean, I just... There goes the yellow car. I mean, I just got on the freeway after I flipped them off. And now, they fixed this AI from the last time I played this. Was a week or two ago? So, now... The yellow car will get on the road and drive. I guess like a drag race. I think he wants to drag race. I mean, I'm in this little town hall, uh, town home band, like soccer bombing it. <laughs> I mean, literally, he's he just got on the highway and now he's gone. He just booked it. All right, guys, now it's time to build the engine. So I'm gonna go piece by piece and like, and tell you uh, what size and how many there are. So the first thing you wanna do, grab the engine block, turn it upside down. It showed where um the crank is gonna be at. We're gonna, go, we're gonna grab the crankshaft gonna put the crankshaft in there. It just sits in there until you get the bearings. We're gonna grab the main bearings. We're gonna put bearings in. So 
Hovering. There we go. Bearing two. Bearing two goes in the middle. So bearing one goes towards where the flywheel won't go. Or the uh the rusted disc and the other one is for the timing chain. Then your third bearing goes towards the one the front the side that has the uh T Let's go and grab our tools. So for the main bearings, you're gonna need a six millimeter. These are actually millimeters. And there's nine. I'm sorry, not nine millimeter, and there are six of these bolts all together. Uh, two on each. Tighten this down. And I hear my car braking, and I'm not even close to the break physics. Once uh you get those in. Next thing is pistons. Now the pistons, yeah. Flip these this back out. I mean, I'd be able to. Put, let's try it. I know I've never had success. Dude. Fine. One. Nope. Nope. Okay. So you will have to flip it back to the top. Come on. I'm having a little difficult. Doesn't go there. There it goes, right there. Some one. The the piston firing order. I, there's some gurus here. It's uh one four and two and three. That's how they're going five. Meaning, I'm guessing this meaning is. The first or the fourth one fire, and the two middle ones fire. And I do. So, we get all four pistons in there. Flip it back upside down. And it takes a seven millimeter. Seven. And there's eight all together. Two on each. And that's for the pistons. I was trying to take a, uh, get in the sauna and take a shower because the bugs were <laughs> taking forever. So we'll just continue on. So the next thing we want to do is put the gasket on the block. We don't need anything, and the gasket is on right there. Just it just lays on. Ugh. Just lays on the block. And then the next thing is the cylinder. Cylinder heads go on top of the gasket. Cylinder heads take 7 millimeter, which I think, yeah, we already have out. And there's 10 bolts together. There's 5 on each side. There we go. So once we get those, we need to put the rockers on. I usually don't put the rockers on there first. I usually leave them off until I have the whole engine assembled because I don't want to like grab the screwdriver and mess with it and fuck something up. It takes eight eight millimeter wrench. And there is five of them right here in the middle. There you go. That's simple. So, next is the camshaft. I'm gonna put the camshaft in. Camshaft goes right, right where the underneath the distributor. I think I got this thing backwards. 
I see check mark, check mark. The camshaft takes two five millimeter. So the the lowest one. There's two bolts. Both bolts are right here. Boom. Done. So next is the camshaft gear. This goes boom right here. That takes the ten millimeter wrench. And there's only one. One bolt. Next thing you want to do is grab the timing chain. You want to put the chi timing chain on. And then the cover timing chain. Like so. With the timing chain cover, it is a six inch six six millimeter there's six of these bolts here's one two actually there's more five six nine, six next thing you want to put on is the water pump Water pumps on the second shelf near the alternator. I'm gonna put this thing on. Water pumps takes a seven. And there are five of them. One, two, three, four, and With the cover on there, it looks like it's weird looking. Here's the pulley. That takes a seven. There's four of them. Sorry, I just lost train of thought. And after we put that on, let's put the crankshaft pull. That takes 11. It takes 111. Get this thing. So, I just got myself clean, finally. Uh, with the new patch, it has to be above 60 to clean myself now. Uh, back to the engine. So the next thing you want to put in is your distributor. Some people just wait to the last moment, but sure you'd be fine to put it pretty early. And it takes a six. And it's one bolt. Put this all the way in. The next thing we're going to put in is the alternator. The alternator, you have one seven, is the off one, I think. Thank you. You have one seven, one ten. That's behind it. Move the alternator far up as well. So then we'll just kind of tighten this. There we go. Bump it, bump it once out. So you know, whenever we adjust it, we'll just adjust it, tighten it. I'm gonna grab a wrench. Then uh, once you put the carburetor on, it the uh, there's an attachment for the carburetor. Then. It's a, uh, there's four, or by eight millimeter. Later on, we'll get to that. So, we'll just hold off for that. The fan belt, which, I think I left the fan belt inside. Yes, I did. Okay. Put the fan belt on. 
Fan belt is on. And like I said, later on we could tighten it properly till then. There we go. The next thing we need is engine plate. Engine plate's just kind of put on the back. I call this the back of the engine. I call this the front. Like here in America, this is the front. When you open the hood, you see this. Probably every when I first put put the uh, engine together and put it down, it's like <laughs> I was trying to put it where the fans face the front, and I had people tell I would switch at the. They were like, "No, no, no! It doesn't go that way. It goes in sideways." I'm like, "That doesn't seem right to me, but okay." Um, the starter takes seven. Right here. Closer, and there's two bolts. The one's inside, and one's side port. Next thing is the carburetor. Carburetor on there. The carburetor will take eight, eight millimeter, and it has only DOS hole. I don't know what. Go on each side. And then next is the headers. Put the headers on there. There is five. Two on the uh, outside. One is. Like so. Next we have the flywheel. The flywheel is good. <laughs> and it's fit in the back. Flywheel takes seven millimeter. There are six bolts. Good like that. Now we gotta do the clutch assembly. Let's flip this. Get the clutch disc. The clutch. Clutch disc in there and then pressure like so. Grab the assembly that we have from the not the pressure plate but the cover. But attach this flywheel. Like that. This takes a six millimeter six pin with six there are six bolts. Actually, yeah. Six bolts. Sorry, I was scratching my leg. There's one. Another one. Up there. Four. Oh. Got that. We, we have to grab this by the block to turn it. Turn it upside down. And we're going to put the oil pan on. So with the oil pan, it takes, there's eight these screws. It takes seven millimeter. I think I got it. Oh, six. That's six. There's four on each side. There's eight total for seven millimeter. You got the, uh, the drain drain plug which I, I still don't understand why that the you you need to drain oil I mean you I feel like you don't you might drive this car a lot I don't know if you drive it that much to drain oil unless that, like every time you take it out you drain the oil put new oil and it takes a 13 next we have the gearbox Here we go. With the gearbox, it takes a seven and a ten. So 
Grab the 7mm, which there are bolts for that. That's placed right here. Close to the flywheel. There's six bolts there. And we have a one till uh, 10 mil Either, nope, on the other side. Grab the block. Flip it on this side. Tighten the. Just like so. There you go. Um, the drive gear is next. Put the drive gear. That takes. A there are seven bolts. A lot of people forget to bolt this one. Make it close. But it's right here. I mean, it's an easy bolt to miss. And then there's six, right? Should be. One, two, three, five. Without that bolt, you know, all the way down, usually it pops out. And people, like, always ask the question, so why why does that pop out on me? There you go. That's why it pops out. You might have accidentally forgot that. So next is putting this on the uh, hoist, like so. Drop this down. Let's get this on the hoist so we can uh, put the fuel pump on there. Get the engine hoist. Put it to the side. And I think that'd be a, a good stopping point for episode one. Episode two will come out later on today, hopefully. For the body. And then the tuning episode. So for the the hoist, cherry picker, whatever you want to call it. It takes a 10 millimeter. There are two bolts. You kind of see them, right? And where they pick up the engine, like, I don't know if people notice it, but right here. And right here is actually where it picks up from. I forgot spark plugs. Yeah, that's another thing I forgot to do. With spark plug. Let me, let me put the spark plug. With spark plugs, I mean, with the older patches, you tighten them by hand how they have spark plug cool which seems pretty cool and I'll put the oil filter oh I'll, I'm gonna finish the engine all the full load like so the f I think it's the pump. Which fuel pump is a seven. Yeah. Seven that goes inside. And you got the old filter. So I, that's tightened down by hand. One good thing. So this is what the whole engine looks like. The first part of the engine. Later on, you can upgrade the carburetor, headers. That's a bit. The, the I wish I don't know. Don't uh, somebody please correct me. There is a way to tune your transmission. Please tell me how to do it. I, I hate taking it to the shop. I'd rather do it myself. But so far, the way I'm looking at it, it there's you have to take it to. The so, so that'd be the end of this episode. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day and catch me on episode two.